Jolster can't leave it though. And Vtune throws out the stun there to open. Still BKB being held by Boom. That might be enough to make them feel like they can do it. Navi are waiting for God's damage, strength. It's, it's getting really close, 10 seconds away. The hoof stomp's available afterwards too. Oh, this centaur creep could make the difference. 40 oh, seconds left like before it reveals. The biggest footsies of all time. This is like two on game. each side. Everyone's just waiting. Egg down right on top of them. Boom, turn upon. Can they get it? Wait, the red cube came out. Aramis of all people gets the Aegis. The egg is gonna fall. No, the stuff came out in time. Oh, Navi made it work. Everybody's falling. Always wanna fly, trying to run out of there, but Shad will fall. And with that, Navi take them all. Oh, they trap themselves in this situation on the side of Viking. I, I think with the Aeon Disc Minotaur Horn combo now, that these fights might start looking a little different. I mean, the real question is who gets blown up first? Jump in. Guess who it is? It's Miracle. He falls. Kuro, even with the blink, couldn't get there in time. The silence was more than enough. And now the Supernova down. General oh my trying to out. Roger on the low ground. Can they kill it in time? One more hit. It's not there. They take them all down. GH did it to him. Three dead. Can they find anything else afterwards? Miracle back in the fray. Wants to make it happen. Double kill down for Weeha. GH. Yep, he is that key ingredient, and uh, he's actually having some trouble here as Mickey and Boxy getting on top of him. Boxy's gonna jump across, get the Slytherin Crush in, does drop that arena, the tornado's coming out onto the fruit, but unfortunately, immediately have a beautiful chrono from Mickey, catches wow. that the entirety Amazing. of OG. They get absolutely torn apart, a buyback comes in from no tail, but mid one looking like he's already gonna lose his life here. Mickey gets on top of him, takes him down, moving across the scene, they're gonna sing the song of her people, that freezing field is gonna tear through OG, and they will lose absolutely Absolutely, everybody, complete demolition from the side of Team Liquid. What an absolutely perfect chrono steer from Mickey. But right now, it is all the OG show in this game number two. They have come up with some really good answers here. And now, going to head on over towards mid. Another call with the blade mail afterwards, but no tail oh, gets the big cute. black hole. One, One more, three, though. Tries to seal it, able to turn this back around. Look at it, it's on to everybody. And with Epileptic Kid hitting on the other side, they're going to take them all down. Holy moly, he saved it. What a play. And Unbelievable. Call? And now the call, the taunt. Can they bring him down in time? Follow-up stun is not going to connect. Thompson's got to save the game here. Got to get the hell out of here, but they won't be able to do it. All five all. They got to keep on fighting on the dire side of the map and make OG react to them. He is reluctant to come up the river, come up these stairs. Oh, we got a smoke on smoke here. Epileptic Kid, he's gonna find a huge chrono stick, but no, he gets lifted. He wasn't quick enough, but now they can jump around the chrono stick. does eventually come down. The Alchemist on the front of it. Maybe they can bring him down. Meanwhile, RP, Dragon 2 Heroes into that chrono. An amazing play from DM to lock down two extra heroes. Oh, dearie me. It comes breaking down for OG versus Pro. That is how you chrono. And DM just grabbing two extra heroes and just scooping them onto the side of the chrono, blasting them onto the side of it. That was beautiful. The hesitation from Electric Kid nearly cost them the series fight. consistently we've had as more aggression is happening in the top lane. Mike tries to cookie out. They will not get the cold. No, he turns around to give the cold feed. Io is there, however, to save. He's going to heal him up. GH now in trouble. They toss the two supports together. Kuro being chased down by Tiger. He's got the boots. The cold feet will not proc. And instead, it's going to be the ancient apparition likely to fall here. It does get the kill. Stun out on Insane. He roll in. Cookies not there, but the kisses are. GH taking a lot of damage. Avalanche tossed the combo. A triple kill for Mika. Insane is still alive. Some very clutch plays by Liquid. The great rotation by Insania saving Mickey there. Dark Observer Ward down in the Radiant Jungle, giving a little bit of a safety net here and maybe an opportunity to jump on the AM. Disruption into combo from Boom. They jump Epi Kid, give him the old toss up, but he blinks oh, back into there? the void. Time dilation's there. He doesn't have Manta Style. The Aegis oh. might get removed here, but the call, three man, jump in. There we go, Viking, dunk down. One by one, they all come crumbling down. Celery's got Glimmer Cape on him, but that's it. GG's call, they tap out. 23 minutes in, VP annihilate Viking. No, the best one is the one afterwards. To nerf the crap out of boss one's relevance. The Timber Man jumped in on, trying to burst through him. They've got the first life. Storm is stunned up though. They're trying to keep him alive. Arena's gonna go down. Storm Spirit is dead though. B2 trying to dish out the damage with Timber Man. Look for the target general. Stand his ground to get rid of the tombstone. And the Timber Man down for the second time. They're gonna find him. 
Puppy is also going to fall. Zai trying to move away, but that means they're leaving Nisha behind. Arrow through is blocked by the creep from Chen. Nisha down to half HP, soon to be to zero. And they're hunting for more. Always want to fly. Keeps an eye on Zai. He's at least able to TP away. Yaps all doing the same. But this is a big problem. Because not only did he fail to breach their base, but you just gave a rapier to the Slark. Looking at, yeah, about a 9, 9k oh. gold swing. That's pretty right. insane. Oh, what a wall stop coming down onto two, setting up for a beautiful black hole from no one. They jump both the cars. They're out of this before they even get a chance to use anything. Zayats yeah. with the wall stop. They were not ready for that. Oh my god. I, I think it's more critical to, to get the Void out of the way if you want to do it as well, because he has got that Chrono. But look at this. They're actually baiting Epic Kid top. Save is here. If you jump him, you're in trouble. They got the Spirit. Gotta go for the stop. We'll connect on the two. Epic Kid's still alive. The Chrono's gonna go down. The punishment is gonna be made. And they'll look to clean up the storm first and turn around and do his brother Spirit. This is a double kill for Epic Kid. Have you won the mid. Art. Did they get DM? Did they get Constellation Prize? The chain? No, he gets away! Last moment as well, long range on the chain. GPK is now here, Matuma Man needs to run. That was maybe the one bright side. He just does have a buyback though. And now they have no Doom, no oh, the LSA? They call a Wii. Toby can initiate here. They never talked him well for up a Wii, but BKB, Toby's gonna run in. The Chrono's gonna go down, connect him on the two. The buyback comes out from GH, but Wii is already gonna fall. The cool control, RP, oh, turn RP. around, Miracle, try to get through with them quickly. Can he do it though? The stun's gonna run out. The control's good, the hook shot. Combo from GH will ensure that they turn this fight around and they take plenty of heads from Viking compared to what Nigma gave over. It's Liquid split up for a moment, but they're dangling boxy here, just in case there's vision in the area. We got pump the jump in. There's gonna be a jump in from the Abyssal Bear, straight forward on the side. Global Science is gonna come out, but the damage is gonna be way too much. It doesn't look like he's gonna get away. They do find Quigba, big target found. Now, can they deal with the bear? Mike has his team rage already. They're turning to Boxy with the BKB activated. The Bash is coming out, and Matima Man has to turn around and stun up the bear. Mike down once. They will find Boxy as well. When Mike comes up, he's got his work cut out for him. BKB just trying to run away quickly here. No Abyssal for 10 seconds. He respects the fact that Secret is stronger. And they'll prove it. Lift's gonna come out. Rage gonna be using time. Movement in though. Trying to turn on the Spain. Gonna jump straight in. Plumb him down. He's gone. Roll across. Control is good. Silencer is gone as well. The buyback out from the Spain. And right now, Secret, it feels like a bear in a playground. I mean, they're into the Roche now. They're gonna jump on 3-3 here. Milan trying to keep him alive, but the silence is there afterwards. Great orchid oh, placement. Roll in afterwards. Silence onto the rest of them. They're gonna need to get the Yule Scepter off. Egg is available afterwards with the Chrono. If they want to jump in and make it happen, Chrono is gonna land onto all of them. They oh. can't get in range. They can't get them. And it's gonna pop. It's the sun onto absolutely everybody. Have they salvaged this fight? Kuro in a hell of a lot of trouble. He gets beaten down, and now they're trying to chase down Weeha. What a chrono. I thought GH had that when he got into the back line like that. It looked like they were going to get in Barania, but nope, nothing else. Maybe a salvage kill, but no, the Yule's up as well. Wait, they still have Mortimer's Kisses. Got to be careful. Cooking into everybody. Can they beat him down in time? I the like how instead of there. gobbling and shooting the Phoenix, he took the Arcane. Oh my god, he tried to gobble up right there, but didn't quite get in range. And bringing down Miracle. Got to be careful. Chase down arrows off the mark. They're going to throw oh, out they're going Miracle. For Miracle. Him under control. And then throw out the kisses. Miracle pops the enrage though. Yule Scepter lift up afterwards. There's a couple more kisses. Can't quite catch mind control, but they will be able to chase down Miracle and kill him as well. That was so many buybacks. That was really risky. They, they almost threw both kills there potentially, but uh, luckily... Uh... And that was a 4v5 fight. And now uh, Jampanons always want to fly. Doesn't do much damage though on this uh, Invoker and now he's actually getting jumped by Iceberg. Might need some help, but of course Science is there with the disruption. Solo trying to get off the ultimate, the overgrowth being cancelled out, but it doesn't make a difference. They'll be able to get a kill. Meanwhile, Ramsey the backline just chops through V-Tune again. He brings him down for a second time, and they're just gonna call it straight there because they do not have the buybacks. GG well played is cool in game number two, and 404 will get their revenge. That's Roche is now dead, and they gotta get the hell out of their top yeah. suffice, both of them trying to get away. The Aether Remnant down, hoping to stop. Him, the rupture as well, but you can only do so much damage. Oh, maybe the turn though. Collapse here onto Thompson, trying to beat him dead. 
Oh, but the toss away. And now he's living. He gets the GA out, and it's not going to be enough. Thompson trying to live. He gets silent stunned. Can they get the kill? They will finally bring him down. And now Whoa. Kono going to land onto all four of them, actually. Mid one walked into it, but do they have enough damage afterwards? Light Strike Array, the A Blast comes through. They're starting to kill the rest of them off. Have OG gone too far? Collapse is coming in for the cleanup. No tail trying to TP out. He Ooh. won't get out of there. All four are dead, and Mid one stunned up. He's got the Aegis, but can he escape? Trying to oh, find a bash. a bash. Oh, they get an invis. <laughs> he goes out the high five afterwards. He's coming back in. Oh my god, this guy's insane. Dude, oh, mid one's please. angry. Mid one, please. I mean, he has this sentry. He's feeling That's confident. The, there, there's a sentry right over here. They find him. He's going to turn around and beat so bad to death. Uh, and No Tail, appreciating the play, says, All right, I'll give you a little something, something there. All right, oh, no. Oh, here. no. This is bad. Mid one, have you gone too far? No, Tom. Oh, coming, coming back in. All right, there's the chase down. It was only a moment where the game ended up looking a little bit bad. Claps going to be bashed. Claps going to be killed. So you remove that. I thought Rolling from Tiger here. Moving on to that play to get there. Trying to connect with the no duel, duel, but unfortunately not able to do so as it Yules comes in from GPK. Saves it from the duel. Now they can turn it around once again. Dropping the ultimate. It is beautiful from Verdus Pro as they will drop down Boxy. Looking ahead for more. And Sadia tries to turn it around with a chaotic offering. It's not going to do anything. It's a drop in the ocean as Verdus Pro take down four more heroes. Once again, every single ultimated ultimate used with perfection. That was brutal. I mean, they, they want to try something fancy with uh, Zayats here. But FNG, he's pinging it. He senses something's going on here. Oh, they're baiting with the ward, but no, the bait gets counted upon here as the Doom gets stunned up instead. In comes through one, three man beat Black Hole coming down as they jump forward. Take down one, take down two. Espo's gonna fall as well. All three heroes inside that Black Hole will go down. Meanwhile, the S is gonna get controlled up with the Yules. And Echo Baby running on forward, looking for a target. Popping that in range to try and bring down the Enigma, which he will be able to do so. But they're looking for the backlines. They're looking for the doomed up Death Prophet, trying to finish her off. Some Alan Brown sees the two squad. They will get the kill. No buyback on the Death Prophet as this. Ursa runs Rampage in the back lines, but he's running out of steam. His team is running out of support for him. But Ramses is still absolutely fine as he comes back onto this high ground. They did get the Doom and the Enigma in the back here. So, I mean, actually not that convincing of a fight despite an insane black hole as uh, Abyssal Blade. The Abyssal Blade in return. Just a couple of Abyssal Blades being thrown down as the Rage comes through. The two carries just going mono e mono with each other here. For the that's a big one. S4 is in. Ramsey needs a target. Jumps into Solo. That is not a very good passenger, though, because this Enchanter is going to die so, so quickly. Solo with the full stuff up into the high ground, trying to keep her precious cargo alive and buy enough time to get off this raid. Doesn't do so, unfortunately. And the Lifestealer is going to fall. It's a five-man wipe for Alliance.